Hey everyone, welcome back to a Coder Journey. Uh, in this playlist, we are exploring new features in Visual Studio 2026, and we're exploring them. These features offer you the possibility to improve your coding workflow and you know be more productive as a developer. Now, before we get started, make sure to hit subscribe and like if you enjoy learning, you know, uh, about the new features in Visual Studio 2026. Uh, today we're looking at another feature uh, with, you know, Copilot, uh, writing code using AI. And I'm going to show you how you can use Copilot to kind of optimize your, uh, your, work, your workflows, your coding workflows, and how to instruct Copilot to come up with better responses. I'm going to show you some practical examples for each improvement so that you can see things in action. So let's go. Copilot chat keeps getting smarter. The latest improvements focus on three main areas, improved code search, awareness of external symbols, and better accuracy with line numbers. Let's see each one of these in action. This is GitHub Copilot. This is the chat that I have with you know, Copilot from one of the previous episodes. So the first thing that I want to explore is improved code search. Copilot chat can now find more relevant snippets in your code base when you, you know, describe functionality in natural language. Here's an example. Suppose you want a method, right, that uh, calculates the uh, factorial of a number. So instead of writing it yourself, you can ask Copilot to, you know, uh, write it for you. So I have used that before, but, and I know you, you have used that before as well, but the thing that I want to talk about is to ask Copilot to actually locate that method inside of your code base. So you have this method written, you don't know where it is, you can ask Copilot to find the method in your code base that calculates factorial and suggests improvements if needed. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a class in this project. I'm going to call it create a class. And in this class, I'm going to call this Let's say my methods, and then this is going to be, let's say, a public class. And inside of this, I'm going to create this static method. Then what I am going to do is to close out this file, go to my GitHub Copilot, and give the prompt asking this to find the method in my code base that calculates factorial. And I'm gonna see if it can find it. So as you can see, Copilot not only finds the right method quickly, but can also suggest optimizations, like for example, using iterative loops for better performance. So this, this is great. So finding your code easily of course, making improvements if you want. The next thing that I want to talk about is awareness of external symbols. Again, suppose you want to ask, you know, Copilot if it can understand dependencies in your project. Let's say you're using Newton Soft JSON to deserialize JSON data, right? I'm going to create a class inside of this code file. I'm going to create this user class with two properties. And then I'm going to ask, you know, GitHub Copilot to kind of write a method that reads a JSON string and converts it to into, you know, a user object using Newton sub JSON. So again, I'm going to go to my chat window. And I am going to give it this prompt. Write a method that reads a JSON string and converts it into a user object using Newton Soft JSON. It's going to go through my code base. It's going to find this class one. It's going to find the user. It says add a parse, you, parse user from JSON method to my methods that uses JSON convert deserialize object from Newton Soft JSON. And of course, I can go ahead, copy this piece of code into my class. Again, what I want to tell you is 
how copilot recognizes JSON convert from the you know Newton soft JSON library no extra hints needed it kind of understands what dependency I'm gonna need last but not least better accuracy with line numbers so again we have a code file right with different line numbers as you can see now you can reference a specific line in your code and copilot gives you kind of precise suggestions for that line suppose we want to ask about let's say line number 11 right we're going to ask copilot to explain what is happening on this line and suggest an alternative approach i'm going to say what is happening on line 11 and suggest improvements if possible so based on the line number it can you know detect that i am you know checking something and then it tells me that i can you know throw an exception so referencing your code using line numbers again this is very precise a very precise you know piece of suggestion for the exact line that i was you know uh, that i was targeting that saves a lot of time that reduces a lot of confusion and there you have it better responses with github copilot i guess these three features would make your coding workflow smoother find the right code faster with improved code search get help with external dependencies like libraries or packages receive accurate with suggestions for specific lines in your code if you found this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell button so you never miss an episode of my channel comment below with which co-pilot improvement you're most excited to try thanks for watching guys happy coding see you in the next one